أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته معنى الجامعة جامعة أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم رضي الله تعالى ما topic today is knowing and understanding our day my brothers and sisters what is day day is um a day in the Islam my brothers and sisters a lot of us um we um Muslim my brothers and sisters and um Muslim by name and um, Muslim from background and all that. My brothers and sisters, um, at first we need to um, understand the din. We need to understand God at first because the um, din al Islam is um, the the only religion that is um, accepted by Allah subhanahu wa taala. Um, we have to know this first. Then know what God wants us to do, what God wants to own from us, and why we are the best. My brothers and sisters, we are the best because we enjoy good and we forbid bad. My brothers and sisters, and um, we enjoy good and we forbid bad, and we um, we we love Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, we worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, we um, look up to God. My brothers and sisters, um, all this um, is the um, first step of it. Then the next step is doing things the way we should. My brothers and sisters, the last one Allah Ta'ala loves the people that give thanks and glory. By saying Alhamdulillah, I swear Allah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, wa la hawla wa la fuasa illa bila ilaha illa. And understanding that there's no trick, there's no power, there's nothing we can do. Only what Allah will. My brothers and sisters in Islam. And, um, um, and also asking for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of course our salat is very, very important, my brothers and sisters. More especially the um the um the Fajri prayer and the Asri prayer. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam refers to peace to salat in, in the Adith, my brothers and sisters. We need to look into this. Ashri prayer, Prophet Muhammad referred to whoever needs Ashri prayer at the rightly stated time. He, he referred, um, he, he gave example that um, like someone that loses all his or her property. My brothers and sisters, look at that. What is behind this Ashri prayer? My brothers and sisters, we need to, um, we need to, that's why we need to understand this thing. And look, the Ashri prayer falls in the time where some people will be coming, you know, time where maybe you'll be coming from work or you just got home, you like to eat, you like to do all these things. And Fajr prayer, my brothers and sisters, let's look into Fajr prayer now. Fajr prayer falls in the time where, where we all enjoy our sleep mostly. You know, brothers and sisters, and we have to get up, do ablution, and do all these things. Why do Allah Love these two prayers, you know, among all the five um, salahs. Why is these two prayer important for all the Muslims? My brothers and sisters, we need to know this. We need to look into this and make sure we don't miss these two uh, these two prayers. Then the next um, <coughs> the next thing is definition of our religion itself. My brothers and sisters, our religion, religion of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Islam. What is the definition of Islam? My brothers and sisters. Islam is a religion of peace. My brothers and sisters. It's a religion of love. It's a religion of peace. It's a religion of equality. It's a religion of justice. Reli religion of happiness. My brothers and sisters. Religion of love. My brothers and sisters, and pursuit of happiness, and also the religion of cleanliness. Cleanliness is very, very, very important. Wherever we want to perform our salah, at first we have to make sure we are clean. My brothers and sisters, some people believe when the the ablution is done, even though they didn't bath, it's all right. If you have water, my brothers and sisters, it's preferable we bath. We have our bath. Even the factory solar is is better if we if we brush our teeth, my brothers and sisters. Make sure we are, our mouth is clean. 
my brothers and sisters, before performing this solar. But if we don't have water, it's fine, we can do our ablation, it's acceptable according to the teaching, you know, of our beloved prophet. My brothers and sisters, our beloved prophet is a very, very clean person. According to um the um the 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 sahab of the Prophet Muhammad. We're told that our beloved Prophet is a clean is a clean man. He always makes sure he wears a clean clothes at all times. He goes to the masjid with clean clothes. My brothers and sisters, let us follow the teaching of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he is the best of mankind. He is the he is the one that knows best. My brothers and sisters, our religion Islam is a religion of cleanliness. A lot of people they are dirty, they are, and they are they are trying to worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. My brothers and sisters, we need to look, look into this. A lot of people, some masjid are so dirty, and people are performing salat in there. They're calling Allah in there. My brothers and sisters, where we want to perform salat, have to be clean. This is strictly, it's, it, it's very, very important. We have to do this before we start performing our salat. But a lot of people don't look into this. My brothers and sisters, it's very, very important that your environment is clean. It's very, very important that your body is clean. And then perform our ablution. My brothers and sisters, after doing the ablution, then the salat begins. My brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and guide us. And um, this is a lovely um, religion, Islam. The beauty of Islam. A lot of Muslims are not showing the beauty of Islam to people. My brothers and sisters, the impression we Muslims are giving people about us is very, very bad. The impression we are giving um, people about Islam is very, very bad. My brothers and sisters, all these things have to be, uh, we have to look into this, we have to be corrected. You know, we need to correct all these things, my brothers and sisters. Islam, let us show the beauty of this religion, the, the, the beauty that this religion teaches us. We need to show it. It's a religion we, that we have to be kind to people. My brothers and sisters, this is why Allah SWT said, we are the best of mankind. We are the best of mankind because of the teaching. If we are not following the teaching, then we are not the best of mankind. My brothers and sisters, we are the best. We are the best because of the teaching. If we follow the teaching of Islam, showing love, showing kindness to others, wishing for others what we wish for ourselves, you know, doing things properly, this is when we are we, we are doing what we are supposed to do. Then we are the best of mankind. My brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. A lot of people are doing um, um, this religion of Islam. They are Muslims because their parents are Muslims. My brothers and sisters, really and truly our parents are Muslims. Are we really, you know, looking into the religion? Are we really following the teaching? of the religion, not only what our fathers and our mother told us. Are we reading the books? Do we listen to stories? Do we read stories about our beloved prophet? Do we look into the Tawheed? My brothers and sisters, in fact, Tawheed is very, very important. We need to know Tawheed. We need to know the teaching of Islam. We need to understand all these things. That is when we are doing the right thing. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. My brothers and sisters, whosoever do righteous good deeds and repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This inequality repentance, my brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not looking, is not really concerned about how much you do is the gifar or how much you, you you repent. But the quality, the fear the fear in you that you won't go back to sin anymore. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is looking into. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants. And he's telling us in Surah Al-Furqan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking to us in Surah Al-Furqan. My brothers and sisters, we need to read this Surah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking to us in, um, in Surah Al-Furqan um, verse 71. He says, Whosoever repents and do righteous good deeds, my brothers and sisters, look into this. Equality repentance. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about. And if you read it for that, it's even better when you read for that. It gives you more understanding. It's Surah al Furqan 71 to 77. My brothers and sisters, it's Surah al Furqan 71 to 77. If you read this, 
you will understand. You know what Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is talking to us. And he's telling us, may Allah, uh, may Allah Subhanahu wa Taala help us um, to understand um, this thing and do the the, the pro, do it in a proper way. It says, "Farifuni kabla anta budune." You know, we need to know God. We need to know. We need to understand Allah. We need to know what God wants from us. When we know what God wants from us, then we will know what to do. My brothers and sisters, may Allah as our Jalla guide us. How to know if you're doing the right thing? My brothers and sisters, the only way to know if you are doing the right thing is simple. It's so simple. All you need to do is make sure you look into the hadith of the Prophet. Authentic hadith is whatever you're doing is equal to the teaching of our beloved Prophet. Then you can you can carry on. Then you're doing the right thing. If whatever you're doing goes with the teaching of the Quran, my brothers and sisters, then you're doing the right thing. If it doesn't go with the teaching of the Quran or the the the, the hadith of the Prophet, um, the beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the best of mankind, my brothers and sisters, we need to leave it. Whatever that is not straight, that we are not sure about, we need to leave it. In fact, a lot of Muslims worship Allah with their shoes on. They put on their shoes. And they are saying that is how it is. That that's how it's meant to be. My brothers and sisters, if this is how it's meant to be, Allah is talking to Moses. It's in the Holy Quran. Allah will not instruct Moses to take off his shoes. If it's proper, to wear shoes while we are performing salah. A lot of people perform salah with dirty clothes. A lot of people just do things the way they want it. My brothers and sisters, let us do things properly so that Allah Azza wa Jalla can accept our dua, can accept our prayer, can accept our salat and make us um, one of the um, the people of the right, one of the people of Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. How do we know the guidance of Allah? My brothers and sisters, a lot of people get confused by saying, how do we know the guidance of Allah? How do we know if it's Allah that is guiding us? Well, my brothers and sisters, the only thing that Allah guides us through is good. If what you are doing is not good, it doesn't go with the teaching of Quran and Hadith of um, Prophet Muhammad, son of Prophet Muhammad, my brothers and sisters, we should leave it. This is shaitan. Shaitan goes in different ways in deceiving people. My brothers and sisters, may Allah save us from um from shaitan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from shaitan. That is very that's why it's very, very important for us to keep saying it. I will subilai na shaitan origin. And Allah took um, talk to us in Surah Al Yasin. My brothers and sisters, in Surah Al Yasin, Allah spoke to us about shaitan, on how shaitan does this thing. My brothers and sisters, may Allah Azawajala protect us and guide us in the right and righteous way. And my brothers and sisters, the proper way to do salat, the proper way to do salat is in Tawid, is in the teaching of our uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. When we go through uh, um, the Tawid, you go to the scholars. If you just reverted to Islam, uh, you, you, you're a new Muslim, my brothers and sisters, you go to the scholars. They'll guide you. They'll teach you. They'll tell you ways and ways to do things. They'll tell you how to do your salat, how to do it in, in right and proper way. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. My brothers and sisters, and there are so many ways you can you can know all these things. If you if you Google it on the internet, it will show you. There are ways our, our brothers and sisters are doing all this good um good deed um for jihad. It, it's all there on the internet. All you need to do is just Google it. My brothers and sisters, just Google Salah and it will bring you different things, um and different um, explanation and teaching on how to perform salah. And if you're not um if you don't have access to the internet, all you need to do is just walk into any masjid. We're all one before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just walk into any masjid and ask them questions and they will guide you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us in the right and righteous way. The only way to success is by doing your your your, your salah, brothers and sisters, at the right stated time. Only if you if, if something is stopping you, and that has to be something very serious. My brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. You know, the, and, and, and salat, it, it gives us some bond. My brothers and sisters, this is the bond between us 